say our, our uh, objective for today, I can solve radical equations, read together, one, two, three, I can solve radical equations. So uh, we started with functions, we went to expressions, now we're to equations, so we need a fair model. I can solve radical equations, what are they? Let's see, radical equations are equations whose rule contains a variable under the radical sign, examples y equals square root of x, 8 times square root of x equals y, y equals 2x, I mean square root of 2x plus 1, y equals 3 times square root of x over 2 minus 6. Copy that. Okay, none examples. Copy these down. We got square root of x. Uh, y equals x plus square root of 16, and negative 3 plus x equals 10. Copy those. According to the definition, the definition says a rule, an equation whose rule contains a variable under the radical sign. So here are equations. Here are the radicals. Do we have a variable under the radical sign? Yes. So these are none examples. Why? Uh, tell your neighbor, please. None examples. <laughs> so, with that said, uh, why are these none examples? Voila. Is that an equation, this one? Doesn't have a variable under the radical sign in this one? It doesn't have a radical sign. So they need to be equations and contain a variable under the radical. Copy that. Set. Here we go. Copy these down. Step one, isolate the radical. Step two, solve the equation using numbers operations. Copy that. Okay. Today's lesson is a fairly simple lesson. So it will be probably the easiest lesson so far. And um, so stay, stay focused. We're going to go pretty quick through these. And all we're doing is using numbers operations. Okay. So if you notice here, we need to isolate the radical, and from there we're going to solve using numbers operations. So just to uh, to refreshing your memory, let me go one over. Uh, we're going to be using properties today, and here's another property, power property of equality. So all they're saying is this. Watch. All they're saying is this, that properties of equality, we said if we have addition... If we have addition uh, to each side of the equation, that's property uh, addition property of equality. If we have addition, I mean subtraction to each side, subtraction property of equality, and so on and so forth. But today we're going to do something else. We're going to be taking it to the second power, squaring each side. That's called power property of equality. So the other thing that we're going to be using is inverse operations. So before we continue, copy this down, please. Example 1a. It says, solve the equation and check your answer. We're only going to solve and check this one, and after that, we're just going to solve. We have square root of x equals 5. Okay. Pens down, eyes up here. So really quick, to refresh your memory, inverse operations. What's the inverse of a subtraction? Addition of an addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of multiplication, division of division, multiplication. However, what's the inverse of a square root? Taking it to the second power. What is in a, the inverse of a square? Square root. So by looking at it, we have the radical by itself. Yes. So all we need to do is cancel this radical using numbers operations. How do we do that? Squared, squared. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. This cancels this. X equals 25. 
copy that. I know, right? Okay, example one B. Pretty simple? Yeah, right? Okay, copy this next one down. Copy this. Oh, sorry, I forgot to check. My bad. Here we go. Check. And I said, we're only checking this one, then we're moving on. So I'm going to write square root of x equals 5, but instead of x, I write square root of 25. Equals 5. What is square root of 25? 5. That is true. Okay. Now we can move on. Okay. Copy that one. We have solve 10 equals square root of 2x. So let's do this one together. How do we cancel this? Is the radical isolated? Yes, there's nothing around it. How do we cancel this square root? Squared. And we, whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So this is 100 equals, this cancels this, 2x. What do we do to solve for x? Divide by 2. 50 equals x. So far so good? Okay, copy this next one, please. Example 1C, let's see if you can do this one by yourself. Solve y equals square root of 27x. Go. 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. So, we cancel the radical. Give it down, please. Cancel the radical by squaring here. Square in here, that's 81 equals 27x divided by 27, divided by 27, 3 equals x. Hands if you got that. Okay, let's move on. Copy this next one. Do this one by yourself. Square root of x over 3 equals 2. Copy that and solve. So, we cancel the radical by... Square and square, this cancels that. We're left with x over 3 equals 4. To cancel the 3 that's dividing, we need to multiply times, oh, times 3 times 3. x equals 12. Hands if you got that. Okay, let's move on. Copy this next one. Square root of 5x plus 1. And outside the square root, we have plus 6 equals 10. Copy that. Let's do this one together. There you go. So, is the radical by itself? No. What's outside? No, the plus 6. So, we need to subtract 6, subtract 6. We're left with radical 5x plus 1 equals 4. Now, is the radical by itself? Yes. How do we cancel it? Squared and squared. We're left with 5x plus 1 equals 16. And then, minus 1, minus 1. 5x equals 15, and at the end, divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals 3. So far, so good? Copy this next one down, please. Example 2b, do that one by yourself. You have 20 seconds. Square root of x plus 3 equals 7. Go. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, here we go. Squared squared x plus three equals forty nine minus three minus three x equals forty six. And so we got that. Okay, let's move on. Copy this next one. Square root of x, and then outside the square root is minus four equals. Five. You have 20 seconds. Go. There it goes. What's outside of the radical? Negative 4. So we need to add 4 to each side. We're left with square root of x equals 9. Square this and square that. x equals 81. Move on. Copy the next one. Go. 15 seconds. Square root of x minus 7 equals 5. Yeah, x plus 7. Okay. 
Show with the neighbor, see what they got. Okay, here we go. You square root here, I mean square and square, we got x plus 7 equals 25, minus 7 minus 7, x equals 18. Hands if you got that. Okay, square fingers on three, one, two, three. All right, let's do another one. Here we go. Copy this. Do that one by yourself. Square root of 3x plus 7. Outside of the radical, we have minus 1 equals 3. Careful with that one. Go. You got 25 seconds. Go. Here it goes. We add 1, add 1. Square root of 3x plus 7 equals 4. Take the square root of that, square root of that. 3x plus 7 equals 16, minus 7, minus 7, 3x equals 9, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 3. Hands if you got that. Okay, move on, copy this one. Copy this one, example 3a, solve the equation. 4 times the square root of x equals 32. Let's see if you can do that one by yourself using numbers operations. Go. Okay, here we go. We need to get rid of the 4. The 4 is multiplying, therefore I divide by 4, divide by 4, square root of x equals 8. Cancel the square, you square it, x equals 64. Hands if you got that. Good. Continue, copy this one. Okay, here it goes. Copy this one. We got 6 equals square root of x divided by 2. If you can do that one by yourself. Use inverse operations once again. Yes, we've, used, we've been using inverse operations. <laughs> Should be just about done. Okay, share with your neighbors, see what they got. Okay, so let's see. The 2 is dividing, so therefore we need to multiply times 2. Multiply times 2. 12 equals square root of x. Square this, square that. 144 equals x. Hands if you got that. Okay, let's move on. Copy. What's that? No? Okay, once again, the purpose of this whole, before we start inverses, we need to leave the x, the square root by itself. But let me go back to the previous one. The 4 was multiplying, therefore the square root is not by itself. We need to get rid of the 4 that's multiplying. What is the inverse of multiplying by 4? Divide both sides. Then after that, what is the inverse of a square root? We square this and square that. Same thing with this one. If the 2 is dividing to cancel it, we multiply times 2 both sides. We already did, but it canceled. So therefore, we're left with square this and square that. So 12 squared is 144. Continue. Copy this. Go. You got 15 seconds. Copy that. Example 3C, 2 square root of x equals 22. That is correct. Here we go. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Square root of x equals 11. Square this and square that, we're left with x equals 121. Continue. Copy this one. Do that one by yourself. 20 seconds. We got 2 equals square root of x over 4. See if you can get that one. We did one just like it. Here we go. Times 4 times 4. 8 equals square root of x. Square this, square this. 64 equals x. So far is good? Okay. So, copy this one. Example 3e. We got 2 times square root of x divided by 5 equals 4. So see, help me with the first step. What do I do on the first step, uh, Kyle? Multiply 5 to both sides to cancel that 5 that's dividing. Very good. We're left with 2 square root of x equals 20. What's my next step? Ash. Um, divide, by two. divide by 2. Divide by 2. Square root of x equals 10. My last step, Gus. Um, uh, 
squared both the root and the 10, x equals 100. Hands if you got that. All right, spare fingers on three, one, two, three. All right, let's move on. Here we go. Example 4A. Let's get into funner stuff. Yay. Copy this one. Square root of 2x minus 1 equals square root of x plus 7. Okay, let's do this one together. But before that, let me just do the first step. Pens down, eyes up here. So now, check this out. Pens down, eyes up here. Now, according to the steps I gave you, it says isolate the radical, which means all radicals to the same side. So check this out. If I was to do that, watch. I do minus square root of x plus 7 minus square root of x plus 7. That leaves us with 0 equals square root of 2x minus 1 minus square root of x plus 7. Don't copy this. Just pay attention. Now, the reason I did this so that you can see that the only time I can combine this one with this one is when they have the exact same radical. Is that correct? Are they the exact same radical? No. So this is some exceptions in regards to the rule I gave you. So what do I do then if I cannot do that? Well, check this out. Watch. Let me erase this. Watch. When I cannot do that and I have radicals on each side and there's nothing around them, they're all by themselves. I do this. To cancel this radical, I do this. To cancel this radical, I do this. And that leaves me with 2x minus 1 equals x plus 7. And do we know what to do from there? Yeah. Yes. Copy that, please. So beautiful, right? My goodness. So we're left with 2x minus 1 equals x plus 7 because I did square root, I mean square to each side. From there, in order to solve this, once again, can I simplify each side anymore? No. Isolate the variable. Where do I start? On the x, so I minus x minus x. We're left with 1x minus 1 equals 7 plus 1 plus 1. x equals 8. Does that make sense in regards to why I, ha I just went ahead and did this and not bring it to the other side? Yes, because it doesn't simplify anymore. Let's do another one. Copy this one. Square root of 5x minus 4. And then outside of that, we have minus square root of 6. Focus, please. Equals 0. So now let's do this one uh, together. Can we combine these two radicals? No, because they have two totally different things inside. That means I need to send this one over here. How do I do that? Plus square root of 6 plus square root of 6. We're left with square root of 5x minus 4 equals square root of 6. Now do we have a square root on each side? How do I cancel those? Square this and square this. We're left with 5x minus 4 equals 6. And you know what to do from there. That's my next step. Plus 4 plus 4. We're left with 5x equals 10. Divide by 5. Divide by 5 x equals 2. So far so good? Show me with your fingers how comfortable you are with these. One, lowest, five, the highest. Got some fives, some fours, five, fours, five, fours, five, fours. Okay, move on. Do another one. Do that one by yourself. Here it goes. Example four, low cap A. It's uh, square root of 3x plus 2 equals square root of x plus 6. Copy that and uh, do that one by yourself. Go. Okay, let's see. Uh, is there anything outside of this radical or this radical? No. So we can cancel the radicals by squaring both sides. We're left with 3x plus 2 equals x plus 6. That's if you did that step. Okay. From there, we need to isolate the variables. Where do we start? This one, we subtract x, subtract x. We're left with 2x plus 2 equals 6. From there, we need to isolate the variable. Minus 2, minus 2, we got 2x equals 4. And what is my last step? Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 2. And so you got that.
Okay, not bad. Let's do another one. Copy this. We got square root of 2x minus 5 minus square root of 6 equals 0. That's very similar to one that we just did prior to the one we did right now. See if you can do that one by yourself. Go. Okay, let's see. So this one. Uh, notice we cannot combine these two, so I need to get rid of this radical. So I add square root of 6, add square root of 6. We're left with square root of 2x minus 5 equals square root of 6. Hence, if you got that. From there, get rid of the radicals. We get 2x minus 5 equals 6. From there, plus 5 plus 5. We're left with 2x equals 11. Is that correct? Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 5.5 or 5 and 1 half. And if you got that, okay? All right? So with that said, copy this one. Okay, so let's see. If we were to solve this one, we need to get rid of the 12, is that correct? So subtract 12, subtract 12, we're left with square root of 6x equals negative 6, is that correct? From there, squared, squared, 6x equals 36, divided by 6, divided by 6, x equals 6. Is that correct? Yeah? Everybody got it? So, however, every look up really quick. Watch. Guys, check this out. Let's check. We got 12 plus square root of 6 times 6 equals 6. Why did I substitute the 6 here? Because that's x, right? 12 plus square root of 36 equals 6. What's square root of 6? So 12 plus 6 equals 6. 18 equals 6. You're like, what? What just happened? When there is no solution, even though we solve it using our process, this is what we call an extraneous solution. Remember that? When we covered some of that when we got to uh, polynomials. Let's do another one. Copy this, please. Example 5B. Copy that. Yes. Six was the answer, but when we check, and if it doesn't work, then it's an extraneous solution. Uh, yes, when you get to the end, when they're asking, it, check to see if there's an extraneous solution, check, because you need to find out which one is the extraneous. Like uh, on this one, watch. Let's solve this one. So let's do this one together. Here we go. Uh, we need to get rid of this radical, so what do we do? squared and squared. We're left with x squared equals 2x plus 3. Are we there so far? I'm going to bring these two to the left, to this side of the equation. So I subtract 2x to each side, but I also need to get rid of the 3. So I subtract 3, subtract 3. We're left with 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Does that look familiar? Yeah, what do we use? The, 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 the Power Rangers, we got negative 3, negative 2. What are my factors? Negative 3 and positive 1. Very good. So we got x minus 3, x plus 1, equal to 0. So let's see. x minus 3 equal to 0, x plus 1 equal to 0. So let's see, let's solve. Plus 3 plus 3 
x equals 3 minus 1 minus 1, x equals negative 1. So these are my solutions, okay? However, let's check to see if it's true for both of them. So watch. I'm going to check. I'm going to write my equation, x equals square root of 2x plus 3. But instead of x, I'm going to use 3 first. 3 equals square root of 2 times 3 plus 3. 3 equals square root of, what is 2 times 3? Plus 3? 9. What is square root of 9? 3 equals 3, and that's true. Okay. Let's check the second one. Check. x equals square root of 2x plus 3. So the next one is negative 1 equals 2. Square root of 2 times negative 1 plus 3. All right. Negative 1 equals, let's see. What is 2 times negative 1? Negative 2 plus 3. 1. So what is square root of 1? 1. Is negative 1 equal to 1? No. This is what, what is this called? Extraneous solution. And that's what it is. All it is, all they're saying is that whenever you solve and you get a solution, the one that does not make it true is called an extraneous solution. Everybody with me? Okay. All right. Let's move on to the last one. Not that. Copy this one. But I only want you to copy the the diagram here, the, the the image you see. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. Copy the triangle. Okay, so they want us for this one. Let me uh, let me zoom out. They want us to. It says a right triangle. A triangle has an area of 36. Uh, square feet, its base is 8 feet, and its height is square root of x minus 1 feet. What is the value of x, and what is the height of the triangle? So they're talking about the area of a triangle. So to, to start with, we need to know the formula. What is the formula? Area equals base times height divided by 2. Once we have our formula, we substitute values. What is the area? What area do they give us? That goes here, 36. What is the base? 8 times, what is the height? Square root of x minus 1, and all of that over 2. They want us to solve for x first. So to solve for x, we need to get rid of everything around the radical, because we need to isolate, right? How do I get rid of this 2? Times 2 times 2, we're left with 72 equals 8 times square root of x minus 1 because the two cancels right here, right? What's next to the radical? The 8. It's multiplying. So what is the inverse? Divide by 8. Divide by 8. I'm left with 9 equals radical x minus 1. Can we solve that one? How do I get rid of the radical? Squared, squared, 81 equals x minus 1. So what do I do at the end? Plus 1 plus 1. <coughs> And we have 82 equals x. 82 what? Well, first it's x. That's the value of x. We don't know if it's feet yet, right? Well, yeah, it is. Actually, it's a dimension. It's in feet. So that's x. But they want us to solve for the height. What was the height? Look at it. Square root of x minus 1. So what do we need to do? Substitute, so this is square root of 82 minus 1. What is 82 minus 1? Square root of 81. What is square root of 81? 9 feet. So homework for tonight, I mean for this weekend, you have page, what page is it? 726, numbers 2 to 40 even. However, also pay attention. You need to go to the video titled Mr. Q's. Uh, arithmetic and geometric sequences and take take notes on that. All right, have a good one, guys. Have a good weekend. See you guys till Monday.